Today is Wednesday, July 3rd, and we are talking tropics, especially in Texas. We've got our eye on the tropics. Barrel still a category four storm as of this morning with maximum winds of 145 miles per hour. Today, largest impact will be in Jamaica as it continues its track towards the west northwest and pretty fast too at 18 miles per hour. Hurricane warning still in effect for Jamaica, the Cayman Islands, and now along the Yucatan Peninsula coastline. This does include Cancun and Tulum as as well as Playa del Carmen. So if you are maybe heading in that direction, you might want to reconsider on the other coast. Also, tropical storm watch now in place, and this is for the approaching storm. And we are looking at this weakening over the course of the next 24 hours. It does look like it drops to category three status by Thursday morning as it approaches the Yucatan Peninsula, dropping to category one status, but still making an impact sometime Friday morning. As it approaches the Gulf, it is going to weaken initially to tropical storm status, but it feeds off of the warm waters of the Gulf and now looking like it could strengthen to a category one storm briefly on Sunday morning before it makes landfall somewhere along the Texas or Mexico coastline. And this will be very early on Monday as a tropical storm. Really going to depend on a few things, but either way, it does look like some heavy rain will be possible for South Texas come early next week. This is a look at every model output. Every line indicates a different model on our spaghetti plot and pretty good agreement that it'll make it onto the Yucatan Peninsula. Models disagreeing, though, on how far north it's going to track once it does make it into the Gulf. So we'll know more information this weekend once that center of circulation is in the Gulf and we'll have a, a better idea of what direction it'll take. But right now there is a big model spread across uh, the Gulf, not just from the Mexican coastline, but really all along the Texas coastline. So that again, something that we're going to be watching in the next few days. And the reason why this is happening, this ridge of high pressure that's bringing on the heat now is going to scoot off towards the east and that opens up a window of opportunity for tropical activity to move into the northern Gulf. So again, something that we're watching. This is going to be uh, really impactful for areas in Mexico as far as heavy rain is concerned. And as of now, as the forecast track is right now. Again, it could change. This could be quite a soaker for South Texas, looking at three to five plus inches of rainfall into early next week and along the rest of the Texas coastline right along Corpus towards Houston could see anywhere between two to three inches of rainfall. Again, that's just the rain coming down, not necessarily anything getting pushed inland. And then the more inland you go in Texas, one to two inches closer to central Texas for North Texas. No major impacts, although we could get in on some of that tropical moisture. We could see some added rain potential out of it, but generally less than one inch of rainfall possible. Again, we still have a lot of time for this data to change, so make sure to keep checking back in with us as we get more information on barrel.